Hello everyone, it is the me again, Penguin 21 and today we're not going to be really doing anything special with this audio. This is just going to be me ranting into a microphone for the next 8 to 10 minutes-ish. Because I wanted to talk about a little situation, because I have just come back from a very hungover state. Uh, and sometimes this is the best times that I make videos. Now obviously this is going to be a little bit out of date, because I am the one that arrives to this last, but I arrive with my own opinion. And that tends to also be some of the reasons why. So this might be one of those things where I upload the video three times a week rather than two times. So this is going to be a supplementary video type dealio. Uh, probably release it Wednesday because I have other videos that I want to get out quickly. Overall, not important. Whenever this video comes out, this is a situation that kind of happened on the Twitter space, obviously. Now, I don't have any of the screenshots or anything like that because, one, this contains Spider-Man 2 spoilers, and I don't feel like actually editing that into this video. And also, two, uh, I have missed the boat on this one, and missing the boat on this is just kind of my thing right now, just because I can, I'm one of the few commentary channels that I can think of that actually tends to keep a schedule and just, just upload videos randomly. But overall, uh... What are we talking about today? Well, we're talking about a person on the Twitter space called Andrea. Now, Andrea has allegedly been proposed to be a catfishing X-Bot. Yes, you heard that right. Catfishing X-Bot. Console warrior who, who basically was just under fire recently because of what they did. Now, again, I don't have all of the screenshots, nor do I want to show any of the screenshots because... Of respect to people who want to not have be spoiled for Spider-Man 2. And again, this is just going off of a couple of videos that I will link in the description if you want some more actual details. Uh, but essentially what happened is that Andrea went into uh, Twitter to and, and she, she woke up and decided to choose violence. That being that she got into a minor spat with uh, an ex with a supposed PlayStation fan person. But um, overall, decided to basically take the nuclear option, twist, uh, twisting both of the keys and launching that tweet out into the distance to spoil literally everyone. Now, there is a lot of perspectives onto this situation by posting spoilers. But unlike some people, she actually posted spoilers publicly. Sorry. Cutting over a, a hangover. But unlike most people, she decided to post, the, post these spoilers publicly. Now, posting spoilers publicly has always been one of those things that a lot of people don't seem to like. And I would agree that posting spoilers is one of those things that kind of sucks. At least for the people that don't want to be spoiled. Now, wanting to be spoiled and posting spoilers and all that stuff. To me, spoilers are... Eh, whatever. Depending on really the context of what you're talking about, I tend to avoid spoilers because I tend to not be as online as some of these other people. But some people on the other end of the spectrum would say that posting spoilers is a terminally online thing and that it actually is a bullshit tactic to kind of do that. So what are so what are the two sides here? Well, we're going to take well taking a look at both sides here or at least all the sides here. You have the neutral side, you have the Xbox side, and you have the PlayStation side. The PlayStation side obviously doesn't like the fact that there was spoilers posted and saying, and I'm talking about PlayStation fanboy side, by the way, not the actual, like, entire, you know what I mean. But the PlayStation fanboy side is like, this is all bullshit because she posted spoilers and she posted cringe. That's essentially what it's what what they're talking about. Now, do I agree with that? That posting spoilers to a game that's upcoming is bad? Yes, absolutely. I think posting spoilers really anywhere is a bad thing to do because some people do want to experience that game for the first time. For me, I tend to, again, avoid spoilers because I'm not as online as some of these people and I don't keep up with a lot of that Twitter space drama and stuff like that. Uh, so I tend to avoid it, uh, but at the same time, I don't, uh, care enough, at least about Spider-Man 2, to really get behind them completely. Plus, again, some of these PlayStation fanboys have posted cringe as well, so, yeah. But then we switch over to the other side, and we have actually some Xbox defending her. And is that cool? 
No. Again, I don't have any of this evidence because I don't feel like going through Twitter and just like going through the whole argument of the of the short bus of the century. Again, check the description if you really want to know anything more here. This is just a rant on this. But overall, to keep it simple, they are saying that since an eye for an eye here, then that means that the whole world's going to go fucking blind their Xbox guys. And yeah, one of the people that was in this is Peter Ovo. Ovo? Yeah, Peter Ovo, who right now is a, one of the biggest uh, Xbox Xbox fanboys that I follow. Uh, I don't know if I actually follow him on Twitter. I just see him a lot in my Twitter feed. But to be honest, he is an Xbox fanboy very, very clearly. And I thought that he and I thought that he was above something like this. But uh, hey, I will take I will I will say, you know what? Fuck it, whatever. I I was wrong. And uh, he basically posted that as well. And then people put him on blast, including things like including people like Frit, as well as a few others. But overall, is this a good overall he tried to defend her by saying that oh you shouldn't uh because she's getting harassed then that means that it's okay for her to post spoilers no alex pointed this out and i'm going to point this out as well there are a number of really good ways that you can just you know not do that that not take that nuclear option and spoil it not just for that person but again you posted these spoilers publicly if you did it in private, hey, the, whatever you do in the privacy of your own DMs is not my problem. Plus, you could have also then basically just spoiled that guy, ruined that guy's day, and then he, and then, in that context, if he, if he then talked and leaked about the DMs, then it would have been him who's actually spoiling that person, and I would have actually been fine, kind of, with that. At, at least more fine than her posting it. So yeah. Overall, posting cringe is cringe, obviously, uh, and in other news, water is wet. Now, to be clear on this on this whole situation, with at least this, one of if not the biggest reasons why this is uh, in the more I, why I'm in the more neutral camp here, where I don't really care too much, but I care enough to make a video about this, is the following. Look. If you're going to go out there and you're going to console war this hard, right, don't. Because, <laughs> again, I have been one of, if not the most, vocal people that speaks out against PlayStation guys. I've been called an Xbox guy because I have that, quote, Xbox mindset. But here's the thing. I don't own an Xbox, nor do I want an Xbox. And I am actually very more critical of Xbox than you would think. Because, yeah, I said that Starfield is a fucking mid-ass game, but I like it because it's a Bethesda game. Like, that's not high praise. That's like clearing the bare minimum as to what I expected from the game. And yet this entire people was like, oh, this game sucks because it got like an 80-something. It's like, that's still pretty solid for a game that was... That was just a Bethesda game from back in the day, like some of the good bits of a Bethesda game. That's still pretty high praise, given everything there. And again, I've gotten into so many different spats about it, it's not even worth going into. But to post spoilers for any game, I don't think that that's a good idea, nor a good alternative. If I had these sort of spoilers, I might talk about it with some people, but all in all, I, I don't really care. And maybe, certainly, posting those spoilers as, say, like an accident and then apologizing for it. Yeah, I think that that would be far better. Like, if I, in my situation, if I accidentally posted spoilers or whatever. But overall, this little spat didn't deserve more than maybe this video as well as maybe a shorts video on my channel. But overall, I didn't really want to give this any more attention because other people cover it way better than I do. If you want to know more, links to a couple of videos that I managed to find by, I think, Gara and Klutzy and, uh, in the description below. They're really good guys. Go and subscribe to them. But if you like what it is that I do and want to support me in more other ways, shapes, or forms, all links down to any way to support me in the description below, including Patreon, Gumroad, as well as my Bandcamp, and a few other things. Uh, 
definitely uh, some of my new singles should be out by now. If not, they should be out by uh, the end of the week. Um, that being Hollowed House as well as uh, T as well as uh, fucking TV time. Something to do that. Anyway, my name is Game Penguin Twenty One. Thank you so much for watching. And a peace.